Isha, you brought me a letter? Come here. My name is Moroboshi, the leader of a worldwide conglomerate company. The letter came from a 27-year-old man, Mamoru Umiyama. Mr. Moroboshi, I am writing this letter to... I am writing this letter to ask you for your guidance. I beg you, please help me. There's a woman, Katie, who I love very much. A month ago. This is unbelievable, Mr. Umiyama. Are you sure? This is a manila bag. It costs more than $3,000. I remember that you had mentioned it before. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, Katie. This is so exciting. I love you, Mr. Umiyama. <laughs> so, uh, you want to move in with me so we can start getting prepared to get married? What? We've been dating for two years now. You know that I love you so much. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start. First off, we're not dating. Huh? I'm a beautiful woman, and you're a fat man. Us getting married? You gotta be joking me. These presents are the only reason why I would spend any time with you. Katie? What are you talking about? What is it with fat geeks and their crazy fantasies? You've gotten way too creepy. Don't call me again. Ever. What? The girl I thought I had been dating for two years just threw me away like a piece of trash. I used a lot of money on her. Money that I had saved up for the wedding we would have one day. I spent at least $22,000 on her. It doesn't end there, though. And I went to return the stuff she left. Oh my gosh. These fat geeks are so pathetic. My followers must be waiting for me to update on the fat geek hunt and destroy project. I'm so good at this. Fat geeks should be erased ASAP. <laughs> she uses fat geeks for money. She makes fun of us on social media. Her project has caused pain to a total of 100 victims. Can't let her hurt any more innocent men. Please, can you help me to stop her? Oh man, that's just cruel, huh, Misha? Meow. A few days later. Thank you for inviting me. I invited Mamoru Umiyama to my place. I read your letter. What she does is just horrific. So how would we do this? Don't worry, I have an idea. Let's call it... Tag with a hundred fat geeks in an obstacle course pool! What will happen? She has to marry the man that catches her! After planning for a long time, the game was to be broadcasted on TV. The whole country would see it. This will be easy. The three million dollars will be mine. Get caught and get married. Stay free for 24 hours and win three million dollars. Here we go, Mamoru. I don't know how to thank you. I can't believe you got Katie to go on the show. Don't forget, from now on you're on your own. Katie has to marry whoever catches her. That means there's a possibility it might not be you. I still love her. Even if she's not a good person. All the others joined because they couldn't forget her either. We all want to get married to her. For her to have our baby. No matter what happens, we will all do our best. Good luck! Thanks! Ah! Okay, here we go! Tag with a hundred fat geeks. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> this is too easy! Katie had the first five minutes of the game to run as far as she could. She sprinted off. Five minutes later, the alarm rang to notify everyone. Go! The fat geeks all started running at once. They scrambled towards Katie, desperate to get to her first. Katie was able to easily jump from one log-shaped float to another. Move over, man! She's mine! You get out of the way! <laughs> Will you look at that? They're all sinking! The men were too heavy for the log-shaped floats to support. They all began to sink. Katie scoffed at them. She used to be a national 3,000-meter runner in high school. Mr. Umiyama and the other men probably looked like turtles to her. Don't tell me that's the best you can do. She stood on the top of a mountain-shaped float. The men scrambled to get to her, but she sprayed water on anybody that got close to the top. Then she jumped up and down on the float. Most of the men fell off from the shaking float. Ah! Pigs rolling down the hill. Three hours later. <laughs> You're almost mine. Katie had finally been cornered, but then... She's mine! Whoa! A fight started between the men. Katie escaped by diving into the water. She was also a great swimmer. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't wait to have the three million dollars in my hands. Damn, she just slips away every time. It had already been several hours. The men were exhausted. Gosh, I give up. She's too fast. This obstacle course is too big. She's able to escape anywhere. 
Keep this up and your 24 hours will be up before you know it. Mr. Moroboshi! I understand you all want to marry Katie. How about you work together to catch her? And you all can decide who will marry her by rock, paper, scissors, okay? That sounds like a good plan. No one will get her this way. Might as well work together. That's true. She's having way too much fun with this. Okay, let's go get her! I've analyzed her escaping patterns. When she comes here, you all surround her from four corners. Her escape routes were easy to analyze. I gave the men suggestions on how to catch her. We finished planning our strategy and got back to the pool. Katie was in a boat in the middle of the pool, having a relaxing break. We'll go from the north side. Okay, I'll take east. Okay, we'll take west. And I'll go from the south. They discussed their positions and surrounded Katie from all four corners. It looks like Keita, Misha, and I are having a great time too. Go get her, guys! Let's put a stop to her cruel project. Ow. They're working together. It's getting difficult to run freely. I'm gonna catch you! Prepare yourself, Katie! Marriage! 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 No, no! I don't have anywhere to run! The men finally closed in on Katie. They finally caught her! Mr. Murboshi, you totally helped them win! That's cheating! Uh, no. There were no rules that the men couldn't work together. There were also no rules about me giving them advice. <sighs> oh. Katie finally gave up, while the men were having a rock-paper-scissors tournament to decide who gets to marry her. Rock! Paper! Scissors! And the winner was... Yes! Mamoru Umiyama. I'm so happy for you, Mr. Umiyama. I hope you and Katie live happily ever after. Fine. I'll marry you and have your kids. Whatever. You're not married yet, and she's already talking about kids, huh? <laughs> I can't believe we're getting married. I promise I'll make you happy, Katie. That's great. Can I just make one suggestion? Mr. Umiyama, why don't you start trying to be a little more healthy? Since you gave us such a wonderful idea to work with, I'm going to assign one of our best personal trainers to help get you in shape. You can become a new man. Huh? Eight months later. Wow, you look like a different man. Thanks to you, Mr. Moroboshi. Mr. Umiyama had turned from a fat geek into a fine young man. What? You're Mamoru Umiyama? I didn't think I could have become like this either. <laughs> Things with Katie have gotten a lot better too. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, Katie! Over here! A very pregnant Katie walked over to us. Mr. Moroboshi, thank you for everything you have done for us. We're almost a family of three and I'm so happy. I got shunned for my fat geek hunt and destroy project. But I was able to get over it because Mamaru was there to support and love me. I want to become a better person for him and the baby. This is all thanks to you, Mr. Moroboshi. You two worked hard to get here. I'm rooting for both of you. Maybe we can get you for an interview someday. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Meow. Oh, I'm so jealous. Who wouldn't want to get married after seeing that? I want to get married. Geita, you make a good father. But if you get married, You'd have to save money instead of using it like you do now. <laughs> Plus, you'll need to find a permanent job. Uh, okay, no way. Some people are not meant for marriage. Thanks for letting me know, Moroboshi. I can't imagine you getting married either, Moroboshi. <laughs> you want to see who's better at marriage by playing some reincarnation games back home? Yeah! Meow. Maybe life is a continuous game of tag. People who run after happiness, people who run after money. People who run after fame, people who run from misfortune. The game has started the moment you're born into this world. It's cruel, yet beautiful. There's never calling quits for this game of tag. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon.